Good day folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer videos and photos from your Android device to your Windows operating system. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first way of doing this is using your cable, right? Your charging cable. Now it needs to be not just a charging cable, but it needs to be a dotted cable. So if you are using a phone that uses a type c cable you will need a usb to type c if you're using a newer laptop um, you can actually use a type c to type c and this is specifically for data transfer just have a look for a type c port on your laptop and you can get a type c to type c cable and you'll be able to transfer files quickly you can also pick up a card reader for a pretty good price and what you can now do is plug this card reader into your phone and you can transfer the files to a memory card and then plug it into your computer and transfer the files from the memory card to the computer now this may not be the best option however it is still an option that is viable and in actual fact I do use both of these methods pretty often. The third way is going ahead and using Dropbox. Now you can use any cloud-based service. However, Dropbox for me is fantastic. You get a bunch of awesome options. Uh, you also get two gig free storage. And what you'll need to do is download Dropbox to your mobile device as well as your computer and make sure that you are signing in with the same account or you can just sign in with different accounts and invite the opposite account so invite the other account so that you both have access to one dropbox okay so if you upload photos and videos from your phone onto dropbox you'll actually see them right over here so just to show you what the usb type c cable looks like when you plug it in to your phone if you go down and look for file explorer i've got it pinned on my taskbar if you go and open that and you go over to the left hand side you can go down and look for your phone alternatively you can find it in this pc you will see right over here here's my phone internal storage as well as sd card and you can go ahead and you can open up any one of these files and you will see all of the files that are on your phone. Now, DCIM is typically where your photographs and your videos are kept. So what we're going to go ahead and do, if you open this and you want to now transfer files, you can open up another tab here and then just find the location that you would like to transfer your files to. One of the things that you do need to know is on the right hand side, there's a details pane and this details pane needs to be off. Otherwise, the transfer will not work. So if you go ahead and you have this on, it will give you an error message. But just make sure that it's turned off and you'll be able to easily transfer videos as well as photos from your Android to your PC. If this was helpful, please do drop us a like, share this video with a friend. We'll see you next time, folks. Peace out.